Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a toaster waffle PB&J sandwich. First thing you need is, of course, toaster waffles. Ta-da! I'm going to go put these in my toaster. I'm going to put this box back in my freezer, of course, if that makes sense. Now, we wait for them to pop up while we're waiting. Let's get out the other ingredients. Which one should I use? Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with strawberry today. Yes, hello Noah. Hello Noah. <coughs> Alright, now we just wait. Alright, I'm still waiting for my waffles to pop up out of the toaster. There we go. And make sure they're nice and warm all the way around. Because sometimes, it, sometimes toasters won't toast the top or whatever. And these are nice and toasty warm. Alright. So, we have our waffles. Now what? Well, now, get out the peanut butter. And the butter knife. Right? And screw the top on the peanut butter. Stick our butter knife in there, scoop out a little peanut butter. Spread it around on the waffle. Nooks and crannies. Ta da! Then, make a butter knife and our other waffle. And our jelly. I'm using strawberry. You can use whatever you want. You know? I'm using strawberry. You can use whatever you want. You can use orange jelly, which is the only one I had there. If you're so inclined, you can use gray jelly, but I'm not a fan of that stuff. So. Uh, you can use um, blueberry, raspberry, blackberry, elderberry, whatever, whatever jelly you want on your sandwich here. You can do that. So, now that I've got the strawberry jelly on one waffle and peanut butter on the other one. Guess what I do? Like that. Why am I teaching you how to make this? Because they're awesome. Enjoy!